Catherine Zeta-Jones is a British actress, winner of the Academy Awards, BAFTA and two awards of the Screen Actors Guild of the USA. I get a bit gloomy when it's gloomy. My stepson is a caring, considerate, worthy human being. I find divorces repulsive. I will never get divorced, never. I love my lawyer. I have to say that of course. There are a lot of women who live with pot-bellied pigs. Everyone knows we get paid a lot of money, so why pretend otherwise? I do a lot of swimming, both in the ocean and in the pool. I buy shoes sometimes and use them as bookends. They're too beautiful to wear. I'd love to do a show in Vegas with drag queens. The tackier the better. Being glamorous is about strength and confidence. It's black and white, dramatic. You have to be strong. I didn't even think about movies where I came from. I wanted to be on the stage. Words impress me. If a man can speak eloquently and beautifully to me, I just melt on the floor. When you are 20, 40 looks really old. When I was nearing 30, that seemed like a major milestone. Motherhood to me is something that I always wanted, but never quite knew how it was going to happen. I love to eat an apple after a meal, just to cleanse my teeth, they always look polished afterwards. I was really hyperactive as a kid and no one knew how or where I got all this energy. Yes, I was in love with my husband at first sight and still am. We have the most solid relationship. For marriage to be a success, every woman and every man should have her in his own bathroom. The end. After Zorro, people spoke Spanish to me for ages. I'm Welsh but that movie instantly gave me a new ethnicity. In Hollywood everything is so documented. If you go for a drink with somebody, it's passed around the world so quickly. We recently had an extension built to house a closet. It's like the TARDIS. I go in there and never come out. I don't deny myself food. I'm no saint. I love butter and cream, but I also eat lots of grains and fruits. I'm a terrible cook. I am not allowed to go in the kitchen anymore after I almost burned down the apartment in New York. It's true. I don't like the whole cut-off shorts and t-shirt look, but I think you can look fantastic in casual clothes.
I rub a mixture of honey and salt all over my body to moisturize and exfoliate. You wash it off and your skin is gorgeous. I love clothes, and yes, we go out, but it's not like I'm walking around all day in a negligee with fluffy mules. I eat like a horse. My mother still brings me Cadbury's chocolate from Britain. I do have a very healthy appetite, but I work out. I'm more insecure than I ever let anyone know. Sometimes you protect yourself with this kind of armor that people see more than they see you. I remember growing up knowing I wanted to be on the stage. I wanted to get to London as soon as possible and start auditioning for theater. I don't have a trainer. Crazy, right? But I don't need anyone to motivate me. I love exercise, even things like the elliptical and stretching. I have siblings, and there are certain things I know that I can push their buttons. And they know they have certain things where they can push mine. I have a ballet bar in my gym. I turn the music up so loud that the walls are pulsating, and I go for it for an hour. I do condition my hair with honey and beer. I smell like the bottom of a beer barrel for days afterwards, but it's very good for the hair. I get terrified the first day I'm on a film set. I get nervous walking down a red carpet. I find making speeches the most terrifying thing in the world. I grew up in a small, strictly Catholic fishing village on the coast of Wales. The people there have a different attitude to life than those in Hollywood. People stick together more. I don't know, Zorro was just so great for me because, knowing where I came from, everyone spoke Spanish to me, like, forever after that. And I'm, like, from Wales. I like to feel sexy. I know my husband thinks I'm sexy. I think he is too. But I don't go out half naked with sex written across my back. If my revelation of having bipolar 2 has encouraged one person to seek help, then it is worth it. There is no need to suffer silently and there is no shame in seeking help. If I'm going to leave my family for any length of time, it had better be for a role that I haven't played before, with great people. It had better be fun. I'm quite a broad girl, not at all delicate. I watch what I eat to stay in shape, but I'm against diets. I eat when I'm hungry, three meals a day. I have this system. I torture my husband and everyone around me with my nerves and anxiety. Then, when I get on stage, the fear is gone. I've exhausted myself. It just dissipates. I had, along with my singing and dancing, I was very happy to be born in the hometown of Dylan Thomas. So the government was financing dramatic groups and amateur dramatics and stuff like that. I like Zorro. I like people you can believe that don't have those stupid powers. That is the beauty of Zorro. 
He's just a guy working for the people, to save the people. When I first met Sean Connery, he was as charming and wonderful as I first anticipated. I left Rome thinking, even if I don't do this, at least I have had a day with Sean. To make it more familiar to me, I ended up treating my swordplay scenes like choreography. So it was, one and two and three and four and five, and turn and step and down and up and lunge. I'm intimidated every day I go on the stage and every day I go on a movie set. It's terrifying and I always want to reshoot the first day or the first week, I'm so terrified. I am strong-willed, which can be annoying sometimes. And from that I think people assume I have confidence in Hollywood glamour and all that stuff, when actually, in my personal life, sometimes I'm just a goofball. I may be the first actress to admit that beauty doesn't hold you back. I think beauty is a gift that you have to make the most of. I've worked hard at trying to look my best. I do think I'm lucky I met Michael. Not just Michael Douglas the actor and producer with two Oscars on the shelf, but Michael Douglas, the love of my life. I really do think it was meant to happen.